Well hi YouTube, Brian James, I'm Micro Four Thirds Guy with you once again. Today I've got a wonderful little thing. This video is sponsored by Xiaoyun, um, Chinese manufacturer who, um, if you remember, I bought one of their gimbals, a Weeble S, a little while ago, and I'm knocked out by it. Really is a good bit of kit. So um, I've bought, I've got this. This has been sponsored by them, so I, I haven't bought this, this light. But this is the Fiverr M20C fill light combo. This is the RGB version. There is a, um, a single light, a, a pure white light version. Let's open it up from that way. And let's have a look inside. Well, as I say, it did come in a nice um, polythene bag, but I've taken the polythene bag off. Good quality on that. The whole box is actually well made. Now, off to one side, first of all, we've got this dinky little um, carry bag for it with Xiaoyun written on. You've got a quick start guide, which I always like quick start guides because I'm a man. Men don't read instructions very often. And it's mainly picture driven, which is ideal for me. So let's pull this video light out and we'll get the box out of the way. Also comes, I forgot to tell you as well, also comes with uh, a cable. And looking at it, it is a USB-C to USB-C cable. So that's superb. That's, I, I like USB-C. And of course it's the, the standard now, which is being forced in Europe. Whole thing is quite solid. I'm really impressed by it. It's um, it's not too heavy. It's got a fan in the back, so it's obviously got cooling, which I like to see. A couple of controls on the back, which we'll come to shortly, but they feel good quality. They don't feel too cheap and nasty. And it's press buttons as well on them, so we'll come back to that. It's a 20 watt lamp, uh, as I say, RGB. Before I even start pulling it across, uh, pulling it apart, there is a cold shoe setting or a hot shoe setting, whichever you like. Also with a quarter inch thread. So if you want to put it onto a tripod, then you can strip, put this onto a photographic tripod and have that as a light stand. So it's ideal for that. So you've got lots of options on this, either on top of the camera as a video camera or as a secondary light that's one say or for off camera shooting. These are magnetic. Yeah, that's, that's in the good quality magnets as well. So let's pull that off. But before I pull it off actually, let's have a little look at this because these are barn doors. Now, I used to do a certain amount of stage lighting for theatrical productions, and I love barn doors on things. I think barn doors are fabulous because you can really shape the light. Um, so let's open these up. If you have barn doors, it does give you the ability to really sort of put an edge to the light so it doesn't interfere with other things. It gives you a big, big opportunities to be able to make sure your light's going in the right place, in the right style. So I really like that. Good quality hinges, feel, feel good up to now. Uh, what else do we have in here? Well, there's obviously a grid in there. Let's, can you see the grid? Yeah, but we've got the barn doors there Magnetically attached, so let's pull those off And we've got the grid again grids are fabulous because they really kind of light, direct that light and stop it spreading throughout the room So good on there Again quite strong bag. Let's put that down I have a diffuser here, which is packed up in a bag as well as having a, a diffuser on there so We'll take this diffuser out of the so bag. the light itself here, as I say, it's got, well, it's actually, I lied, it's got one mount for a hot shoe and a camera, but it's got three mounts at the sides. And these are great because this is going to give you the ability to actually put things like your microphone, if you have a, um, a camera top microphone onto it, you could put another light or whatever you need onto there um, and have them on that. I don't know if I can undo the screw or not. Oh, it's a lift up. Right. Okay. So that lifts up on the back. I don't know if you can see that very easily. Let's, uh, thing. And this is a, this looks like it's a frame actually. Yes, it is. So we can take the lamp out of there. So we have a, the mountain frame, mountain bracket, that gives you the, the ability to put the lights on. That's actually fairly easy to put in and out. Um, I thought it was going to be harder than that. Just click in, very, very easy. Lift the screw, lift it out. As I said with my um, Weeble S gimbal, I'm really impressed with the, the quality of that. Um, this is looking impressive already. It's small, it's neat. So let's try pressing this top button on here. Ooh. Single press, then long press. It says in the back there's a small screen. Single press, then long press. Comes up with the oh right we can it's in Chinese we can change it to English there's a menu on the back so we can change that and let's press that one and see what happens got a tick whoa we've got the light on dimming twenty percent so if that's twenty if that's, I'm just switch going to switch this light off so if that's twenty percent that's that's bright that's very bright you can see gently um, four rows of LED. 
can't see a thing actually. If that's 20%, let's turn it up a little bit. That's now 100%. It's, um, so it's slow, slowly turning it down. It's on its minimum there now. So even though it's minimum, that is, as soon as it comes on, you've got a huge amount of light on that. What's that saying? 1%. So as I say, 1%, let's wind that up. 16%, let's get it to 20%. So that is 20%, and as you can see, it's just incredibly bright. Well, it's a couple of days since I actually unboxed this, so I thought I'd have a little bit of time to play with it first and see how it's coming out. So I've got the light mounted on a tripod, and I'm just going to play around with the app. Now, the app, which has got off my phone at the moment, let's get my phone back up again. The app comes free with it. There's a, a QR code for this on there, and you'll see I've got a, a light up there. Now, the background lighting in here is generally a tungsten light so the camera is set fixed to tungsten so this is fighting against that all the way so you'll have to sort of bear that in mind the background light is tungsten the camera is set for a tungsten setting for the white balance if you watch the light in the background you'll see what's happening now if I want to just my brightness I'm on 15% at the minute slightly control very very simple just to bring it up and down you'll see the the uh, the normal bright the normal lighting there very tungsteny bring it up I can change the colour temperature, I've got this set to about 6,000, if I want to take it to a tungsten light, I can just slide it across, I'll take it up. It goes between 2,500 lumen, uh, 2,500 Kelvin and 10,000, so you've got a huge colour temperature range on there, I'll set it around about the, uh, I'll set it around about the middle, and that gives us a, a reasonable sort of grey-white light, shall we say, and also I can adjust the hue on here between a, gray, a green and a magenta hue, so again, lots and lots of variables on this one. Have a look at the colours. So we've got a whole range of colours on this. So we've got presets. We can go to the red, blue, magenta, cyan, orange, green. So they can all be done on here. But we've also got a totally variable wheel on this. So we can just pick whatever colour we want to for the effect on there. Let's go to, instead of HSI, let's go to the RGB. We can choose the RGB levels. So if you just want to, want to set it in, not the 255 on there, red light green and blue and again we can go from a direct picker on that there's other things we can do on this as well we can obviously can pick a color we can pick a white balance color with a taking a photograph on the phone and that allows us to actually pick what the white is that we want and then set the color balance a lot uh, onto that one as well so if we had something white in here we can do the picker and just put it onto, onto where we want it to be and that will change the colour balance to what we want it to be on that one. Now the other thing we can do when I get it in focus on the control centre is we can add devices. I've added this one device, but we can actually have a, a list of devices there if we want to. But also we can have a whole group of these lights. So if you wanted more than one light, um, multiples on this, it's done through a mesh um, um, network or through Bluetooth. So you can actually have multiple lights and control them either individually, say those presets, um, so that allows you to have, say, one as a... Uh, a red light, one is a green, one is a blue, but also adjust um, the individual brightness of those lights, either up and down, or as a group you can adjust them. So that's all available in the app. Now as you can see, I've put the light on top of my camera now, and I've mounted the receiver from a little um, wireless microphone onto the top of the light. I've still got two cold shoes on the light that I can use, but it's just mounted on top of the light. It's set to about 20% power. As I say with the app, if I get it logged onto the app again, I can change the amount of power. Very, very simple, just from where I am. So if you are a, a lone vlogger, you can look in the camera to the side and you can adjust it to wherever you want it to be. You can change the colour temperature as well if I want to lighten it up or make it a little bit warmer. Let's have a little bit of warmth. It's winter in the UK. Let's have a little bit of warmth. So I've got my colour temperature at about 4200 on this. And uh, that's neat and easy for there. I think I'll knock the, the brilliance down just a touch. That's a, that's a bit nicer. So what is it about the light? Well, uh, there's a little fan inside. A little one inch fan in the side for the cooling. I really like the fact that it's got cooling on it. Because that increases the reliability. If you're going out to do a shoot somewhere, you don't want the thing overheating, switching itself off. And it's a temperature control fan and it's variable speed too, depending on what the temperature is. Almost impossible to hear. It's very, very silent. So even if you are fairly close to a microphone, it's not going to cause you too much hassle. Use um, The frame also, I found, has two magnets in the back. So if you're trying to just mount it somewhere, if you've got the side of, say, a, a computer or a, a lamppost or something, and you just want a quick light, light carrier, just put it onto there, the frame on the back of the, uh, of the adapter frame. That 
It has got a couple of magnets in, nice strong magnets, so you're not going to drop the light. It's really, really good. Portable, it's incredibly portable. It's a little bit on the thick side, but it will fit into a pocket very easy. You can get a couple of these into a couple of pockets. So if you are going to do a shoot somewhere, it's nice and easy. It is a high power output. It's, um, it's a 20 watt output. Now, if that was a tungsten light or a halogen light, you're probably talking about 100, 150 watts to get the sort of lumens, amount of lumens from it. So really good, strong light. Battery wise, um, I think it's about 30 to 40 minutes if you're using it flat out. Uh, I think it goes to over, well over an hour and about an hour and a half if you're on um, 50%, if you're on 10 watts. If you take it down to about 25%, it's about three hours. So you've got a huge amount of light source. And this is um, less than 25%, this is 20%. So probably over three hours worth of light that I can use from this from a single charge. And they're not too expensive. They're coming in the UK at about £169 um, for the one which is the full combo, which comes with all the bits and pieces. You can get it without the combo, a little bit cheaper, but for the difference in price, I think it's worth going for the combo to tell you the truth. Also, if you use the code below, there is a 10% off as well. So that's really worth using. There's also 16 built-in effects. So if you want to have some lighting effects that, that you can use, you can get a sort of police car effect. You can get a sort of lightning strikes and things. There is, um, if you have a look on the on the, the, uh, the Amazon site below, you'll find that there's a great little video that takes you through, but 16 different effects. There's also a built-in microphone, so if you want to use it as a sound delight device, it will actually do sound delight. It will pick up that. So if you want a real disco um, sort of effect, you can get that from this, and it will do whatever the effect is to that. A separate music one. I think there's seven different levels of the music settings on that as well. So very, very adaptable. The magnets on the front, by the way, on these adapters which I've put on, have not let me down at all. They are incredibly secure. They're not too secure that you have to drag them off, as I've used on some. Um, because sometimes, you know, you try to get something off, you start pulling it so hard it alters the camera position. These are strong enough to hold it on nice and steady, but they're not so strong that you have to just about pull your fingernails off getting them off. The only thing I'm a little bit hesitant on it's a bit of a faff to turn on. You've got to do a short press and a long press and do all sorts of things. And when I just want to switch a light on, I just want it on. So if there's anything I'm going to criticize, it's the uh, switching it on. Switch it off is easy, it's just a long press. Now, finally, I'd like to just once again say thank you very much to Zion um, for providing me with this light to test. It's been an absolute pleasure on this and it hasn't let me down. As I say, I've got the Weeble S, which I did a video, if you have a look, there should be a link for the uh, the Weeble S, and I haven't been let down by that. I think the build quality is superb, really is good. So I had high expectations on this light, and again, it hasn't let me down. So let me know what you think, comments below. Till then, keep on taking your camera out, keep on having fun with your photography, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.